Guys, here's our main event at Titans Cage, 15, Bad Chad, Big E. We got Curtis Gomez with the red tape. We got Eduardo, the boogeyman, Perez. We got the boogeyman versus the jackhammer. Wayne Wilson giving a big shout out to the dominatrix, the dominatrix red corner and blue corner. And here we go, guys. Somebody gets, a, somebody gets an L on the record tonight. Yeah. And don't blink, and this is a cage tester right here, boy, because it's going to be... This is a look at the height discrepancy with these two guys. And there goes Curtis Gomez. Yeah, man, he dropped his head down like he was going to go for a takedown and threw that overhand right, put it right on the chin of Perez. It's a good strategy for Curtis Gomez. He's got the leverage to get in there nice and deep, get the big man down, and put some weight on him, and start landing those jackhammers. Uh, Curtis told me earlier, I'm going to make it a fight, and I have no plans on losing my belt. I don't know, man. Perez is, uh, Perez is super calm and, and range. Yeah. yeah, he knows how to use he knows his how length. He knows how to use that length. And when he hits you with that right hand, it does damage. Big overhand quick, right from left Gomez. Hook too. Gomez has got to be careful, man. He drops his hands when he throws. Yeah, when he throws that leg kick, he can't drop his hands. That's a he long range. He just got caught with that right hand. All Perez has got to do is stay on the outside yeah. and stay away from this right hand of his. Oh! Boy, he just caught him right on the clip that of that, was that man. Right, that's that right hook I was talking about. Yeah, is Gomez going to be able to recover? Boy, he clipped him, man. I don't know. What do you think? Should Perez let him up? I would let him up, but I don't know. He's doing a lot of damage right here, getting that top control. You know, Co Oof. Big Gomez shots, is taking man. a lot of punishment yeah, right now. Yeah, he is. You know, and even if he moving. gets out of here, that's hard to recover from, from a shot like that. You're gonna, we're going to see how well he can recover. Perez isn't working real hard. Gomez is another fighter with just crazy heart, man. He is yep. so strong. Perez is looking to get the choke. He's insane. looking to get his back and choke him out. He's got the hooks in now. It's it's. This is not looking good for Curtis Gomez no. right now. The only thing that's saving him right now is Perez looks like he may be punching himself out a little bit. And this is what we talked about before on this matchup is that Perez does punch himself out. He does not have really good cardio. He looks tired. He's kind of lazily just laying on him trying to fall him down. Yeah, this is where he should be thinking about trying to finish, man. He should be sinking that in. He's taking the back. He's working on a choke. Nope. Nope. Thought about it for a minute. Gomez is doing a fantastic job defending this. Yeah, he is. This is where this is where this Go is nothing. He can no, he no. Could make just, it out of this. He's just crushing his face. He's not doing anything. Yeah, I, I think. Perez doesn't look tired to me. No, he got up really good. Yeah, he Gomez got up really good. Definitely looking I, I think, tired. I think he should have maybe brought this back up to the feet, man. I mean, I get making Gomez carry his weight around a little bit, which might pay dividends in this next round. But uh, I don't know. As, as much as he hurt him, I think I'd have let him. I think I'd have let him stand up.
Curtis Gomez took a lot of abuse in that first round. Let's see how he comes back in the red tape. The boogeyman Perez with the blue gloves. See if he's gonna keep him at range. Ooh, oh, shin to the dome. Big, another big kick. This is a smart, a smart this move by Gomez. This is what Gomez. Gomez needs to do. This yep, is what I his, said. Making his a head fight. on his chest and just yep. getting, just throwing bolos, man. Good knee to the body. Nice inside uppercut that I don't know if you saw or not, but he landed that on Gomez. Yep, this good is where it's going to get ugly again. Perez did a really good job of just using his weight and just kind of pushing him down, not really paying attention to OK. Spun around, getting those hooks in. Just to flatten him out. Interesting choice to stay on the ground, but hey, I'll take it. It's going to transition to an arm bar. Nope. I would just stay there and punch, to be honest with you. Yeah, me too. I'd just make him carry my weight and fight him. Now Good job by Gomez, Gomez getting up. back up. Big heart. Big heart. Got to love it. Gomez takes the shot. Yeah, he does. Nods. It's like that, I uh, can't remember that kid's name that used to be in the UFC, but he could take a hit. Man, he had a head like a brick. Korea or something like that. Cabbage. Cabbage, West that's it. Nice left hook. Eduardo needs to go to the body. He needs to change up his attack because Gomez is, <laughs> Gomez, Gomez is ready for Gomez those headshots. Gomez is actually fighting smart right now by covering up, letting him throw these bomb shots, and then as Eduardo gets tired, he hits him back. Wow, he just walked into every yeah, one of those Yeah, dude can punches. take a punch, man. His he doesn't really have a defense. He just has my head can take all your punches defense, which I guess can win you a fight if he gets tired of hitting you. Gomez touches that chin again. Yeah, man, he's, he's got heavy hands, man. Perez has got to be careful because he doesn't want to get roped into slugfest and Gomez lands a shot. I Which is exactly you, what he's trying to we, do. I think we could. I think we're clearly seeing the effects of Gomez being sick because we've never seen him get this tired this fast. Yeah, he's taking big, deep breaths. He's also had to carry a lot of weight. He just got a good socket, good, good right, right hand to the eye. Perez is doing a really good job of going up and down. You know, doing some leg kicks. Yeah. So he's keeping. He's definitely keeping Gomez guessing. So he's not just head hunting. He's really doing a pretty good job of moving up and down the body. Woo! I would just like to see a few more body shots from Perez. Me too. I think that's where Perez is making his mistake. Yeah. He's not going to the body. Yep, I agree. He's going to the legs and the head, but he, I haven't seen him go to the body not nearly enough. Dave Marinova has to be one of the most calm guys when he corners people. <laughs> Which but is so he, contradictory to who the guy is yeah, in life, right? Yeah. <laughs> So I can't believe we're headed into round number three with the big boys. Keep using your range, keep sticking, keep throwing the punches, the leg kick, maybe add a couple to the body. I wouldn't mind seeing like a front kick straight to the body. Yeah. I think that would change things up because a good solar plexus shot can take a lot out of you. I wouldn't go round because Gomez is already looking for the takedowns, so I don't know that I would do a round kick, but I would certainly do a straight kick to the body. Especially with those long legs, you can do it at range. Great job coming off the cage from Perez. One of the big things is that Gomez will start um, powering forward. And when Perez is running backwards, he's walking through those punches because Perez is not. Uh, he's not sticking him. Perez is not sticking him. He's not planting and hitting him. Yeah. And he has to kind of use his size and power to turn. When he's moving, he's not, he, he doesn't punch as powerful. No, uh -uh. he's got the one right hand that seems to have a little bit of heat on it, but. Uh, there we go, going downstairs. Yeah, that's. Yeah, he sees Gomez winding up for his kicks every time. Perez seriously needs to go down the center. Straight down the center with punches and with his kicks. So everything he's doing is kind of hooking motion, which is allowing Gomez to get on the inside. 
because they're hooking punches. It allows him to crowd, whereas a straight punch would stop all that. A straight punch or a straight kick would stop all that forward motion because he'd literally be walking himself into it. That's why I said not to do the round kicks because he's going no, to take gonna catch it. He's going to catch it. And he's going to try and come in on it. Gomez is almost standing straight up with a single leg and he's yeah, hasn't even lifted him off the ground yet. Perez asking, am I okay to do an elbow to the body? Good elbows to the body. I'm liking what Perez is doing. He's just laying Gomez on him. Gomez is laying on him. Yep, and here comes. Tired, trying to get his breath. Perez just needs to throw a couple straight punches down the middle. Throw that uppercut, keep your hands up on it. Straight kick down the middle. I'm telling you, it's there all day. That's a lot of body that I can't believe he's not taking advantage of. Uh, yeah, he's like, give me some water. Smart move. Yeah, he's Smart. like, rinse that off, man. Smart move. Buy me some time. Give me an extra breath. <laughs> Straight kick right down the middle. I'm telling you, man. He's killing me. He's killing me. Spinning sidekick oh. right to the solar plexus. <laughs> you guys have to back up. <laughs> Good sportsmanship right here, man. Yeah, he's hurting. He's still trying to catch his breath, dude. That one hurt. That one hurt. Hoo-wee. That was a big Yeah, man. Kick. That was that was heel all day to the yeah. to the floating rib. That was <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Eduardo Perez just takes it. 